Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we are going to solve some Boyle's Law problems. So, problem one. Inside of a bell jar, a balloon with an initial pressure of 755 millimeters of mercury has a volume of 4.25 liters. What must the pressure be if the volume of the balloon expands to 9.73? liters. So, identifying variables P1, V1, V2, and P2 is our question mark. Our equation is, for Boyle's Law, P1 V1 equals P2 V2, recalling that temperature is constant. So solving for P2, which means dividing both sides by V2, we see that P2, final pressure is going to be P1 V1 over V2. Now, I can't say it enough times when you're solving gas law problems, since you've got all of these crazy variables, it is incredibly important to identify the variables because you've got a 50-50 chance of putting them in the right place. So now, solving for P2 after identifying variables. P2 is our P1, our V1, our V2. Now, we're going to cancel our units, so liters cancels out. That leaves us with millimeters of mercury, and that's pressure, and that's what we want. Plugging this into the calculator, it's 755 times 4.25 divided by 9.73. And the calculator gives me this number, which has way too many significant digits. Looking up here, 3, 3, and 3, so I'm going to say 3. Our third significant digit is the 9. The number immediately following it is a 7. You know the rule, 5 and above, you give it a shove. That means our answer is going to be 330 millimeters. And I need to put the decimal because without it, I would only have two significant figures. So our final pressure is 330 with a decimal point millimeters. Let's try another one. Problem two, at a pressure of 145.9 kilopascals, a hot air balloon occupies a volume of 1,250 liters. If the pressure increases to 471 kilopascals, what would our new volume be in liters? So step one, identify variables. P1, V1, P2, and our V2 is the question mark. Remembering that the equation is P1V1 equals P2V2. Rearranging to solve for V2. V2 is going to be our initial P1V1 and our final pressure P2. Plugging in. Again, identify the variables, making sure that you're plugging P1 where it's supposed to be, V1 where it's supposed to be, and P2 where it's supposed to be. Canceling our kilopascals and plugging into our calculator, so it's going to be 145.9 times 1,250 divided by 471. That gives us this number, 387.208. Looking back at our numbers, this has four sig figs, three and three, so we need to round our answer to three significant figures. Our third significant digit is the seven, the number immediately following it is a 2. 4 and below, you let it go. So our answer will be 387 liters. So those are my two practice problems for you for Boyle's Law. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.